Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, then please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and please help my channel to grow even more. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you the makeup tutorial of this look that you are watching here with beautiful purple eyes and dark lips and i think this is perfect for any party or any occasion and you can wear this look during the day as well so yeah without further ado let's get started first i'm priming my face with this wet and wild photo focus primer i love this primer you guys i'm not even kidding i am a dry skin type but but this primer works really well for me I already moisturized my face half an hour ago so I'm not moisturizing my face again. You should moisturize your face at least half an hour before applying any anything on top. Now I'm just quickly priming my lips with this Maybelline lip balm. For my brows today I'm going to use this Milani eyebrow pomade in the shade 05 dark brown I believe and I'm just creating the borders first then I'll be filling it up using smaller strokes now all the products all the shades everything will be mentioned in the description bar below so please check that out with the spoolie I'm just combing my brows so that the product is well distributed and there is no patchiness now I'm using this LA girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Natural and I'm just cleaning up the borders so that my brows look sharp. I'm just blending everything out using my finger. Now my skin is well primed and I'm moving on to apply my foundation. For that I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and I'm applying it all over on my face and neck. Then I'm just blending everything out with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. For concealing and highlighting I'm using the same LA Girl Concealer and I'm just applying it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows down the bridge of my nose center of my forehead the sides of my mouth chin cupid bow and just under where i'm going to place my contour next highlighting your face just brings back light to your face and it instantly brightens up everything and gives your face a nice dimension but you have to blend all this highlighting concealer out really nicely otherwise it will look really really odd for setting my entire face i'm using this oriflame translucent loose powder and with the same sponge i'm first setting the areas wherever i applied the concealer and then with the fluffier powder brush I will set my entire face. For contouring my face, I'm using this Wet n Wild Contour Stick in the shade Fairies Walnut and I'm just contouring my forehead, hollows of my cheeks, nose, chins and you know the drill, right? Now again I'm blending everything out with the same beauty sponge. Contouring your face again gives a really nice dimension to your face and it looks absolutely stunning on photos. Now after blending the contour I will move on to do my eye makeup. Then I will return to my face makeup again. For that I'm using this light brown shade from my Makeup Revolution Visionary Palette. And I'm just applying it as my transition color. This is a very cool toned brown color. And I'm slowly building up the pigmentation so that there is no harshness, no patchiness whatsoever.
now from the same palette i'm taking this shadow this is a light violet color and i'm just applying it on my crease I'm taking this dark violet color though it looks brown on the pan but trust me it is a dark violet color and with this elf brush I'm just applying it on my outer V area like this I'm just slowly patting the color I'm taking this gorgeous shimmery lavender or purple kind of a color and with a flat brush I'm just applying it all over on my eyelids and while doing so I'm also cutting my crease. You guys I'm so bad at explaining you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just slowly cutting my crease and I'm just slowly patting the color in. I'm taking this shade from the same palette and I'm just applying it between the lavender color and the violet color to give it a smooth transition and I'm also applying it on my crease so that everything looks put together. Now I'm taking this gorgeous champagne gold color from the same palette and I'm just highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners again this color looks white in the pan but it is a really nice champagne gold color now with my L'Oreal liquid eyeliner I'm just creating a nice wing here Now with this Jordan Easy Line Eyeliner Pencil, I'm just tightlining my eyes. I mean, I'm just applying it on my lower waterline as well as on my upper waterline. Upper waterline, I think it is called something that. Now I'm taking this violet color and I'm just smudging my lower lash line. Now I'm taking the, my lid color, the lavender color, I'm just patting it over the violet color so that it looks nice and put together now I'm preparing my natural lashes for falsies for that I'm curling my lashes with this Vega eyelash curler and I am going to apply a coat of mascara on my top and bottom lashes this is wet and wild mega length mascara for my falsies, I'm going to use the Adel Demi lashes and I, I am going to apply it off the camera. Here, the finished eye makeup. Now for bronzer, I'm using this Rimmel Matte Bronzer in the shade Sun Bronze and I'm just applying it wherever I applied the contour. Basically, I'm setting my contour with it. Now for my blush, I'm going to use this Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso and I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheeks and then I'll be blending it out with my contour. For my highlighter, today I'm going to use this Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Precious Petals and with this highlighting brush from e.l.f. I'm just highlighting the usual places like cheekbone sides of my forehead nose chin and cupid bow I'm setting my entire face using this L'Oreal infallible makeup setting spray and I'm just bouncing my beauty blender so slightly so that everything is well blended for my lips First, I'm lining my lips with this Rimmel London 
lip liner in the shade Exazaret and then I'm going to use this Milani Amor Matte Lip Cream in the shade Gorgeous it's stunning color you can wear this color as well but I'm going to top it up with another lipstick and this is Wet and Wild Cat Shoot Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gibby Mocha I love this combo I, I truly love this combo so here is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you please let me know your thoughts in the comment section and if you're not following me on Facebook Twitter Twitter and Instagram please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please take that out See you in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.